counting significant digits when measurements are added or subtracted. So here we have three different uh, additions we need to do. Add or subtract the following measurements. Well, one is a subtraction. So let's do the first one. 10.627. And I'm not going to write the unit, although we know it's milliliters. Well, I will write it. And 7.5 milliliters. What's the total number of milliliters to the correct number of significant digits? Well, if I'm familiar with the rules for addition and subtraction, I know that my final answer cannot have more uh, decimal places than, my, than the, the value with the least number of decimal places. This first value has one, two, three decimal places, and the second value has one decimal place. So my answer is going to be limited to one decimal place. So let's do the addition. That's a seven, that's a two. This is 11, and if I carry the one, I end up with 18.127 milliliters. This final answer is going to be limited to the first decimal place because of this value. So for that reason, this is going to round to 18.1 milliliters. So that's eight. Let's look at B. 5.50 milliliters plus 2.970 milliliters. In this case, how many decimal places is our final answer limited to? Two decimal places. So if I bring my values down, I end up with 8.470 milliliters. This is going to have to round to the second decimal place, which would be 8.47. Let's look at C. We have 9.57 milliliters minus 8.800 milliliters. Now, even though this is subtraction, we still follow the same rule. Addition and subtraction, those functions have the same rule for significant digits. Your final answer is going to be limited to two decimal places due to this value. It has two decimal places in it, so we cannot report an answer beyond two decimal places. We will be overestimating uh, the precision of that value. So if we do this subtraction, it's going to end up being, well, this will be 0 0.77 milliliters and this actually if I have the, the zero here rounding it to two decimal places would be 0 0.77 and that's it.